Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite cozy gallery lots. I do want to make future videos like focusing on community lots or like motels. I'm really just trying to compile like lists of builds for me to make this into somewhat of a series. So today we're doing cozy ones. So I have a few that I've placed already and I'm going to show you the first one. So this one is by Kaler. Kaler. I don't know if I'm pronouncing their username correctly, but this is like a really cute beach bungalow in Windenburg. Oh, hold on a second. Let me change my reshade so we can really get like a cozy feel here. All right, so here it is. Here's the beach bungalow in all its glory. And I am absolutely obsessed with this like cozy seaside vibe that they've got going on. This like little patio with the mismatched chairs. I love mismatched chairs. Let me turn off the depth of field. And then inside they've got like an open concept going and I love that. There's like a shabby chic kind of vibe to everything. Like very beachy colors like the white with the light blue and the light wood tones. And look at the sun shining in through these windows into this living room. This is such a vibe. I absolutely love this. I also love how they have these curtains separating the bedroom for, uh, from the rest of the house. It makes it so much cozier. And we've got like this shabby chic little bathroom with the little- I like this little table with the towel thing they've got here and putting a window around the AC unit was such a good idea. I've never thought of doing that and it looks so good. It makes it way more intentional and like meant to be there, you know? But yeah, I absolutely love this build and I think that this is a great little cottage for like a writer sim to live in and like spend their days like writing and creating art and just living simply. This is great. This is so cute. So another one that I'm going to show you is by the same builder. This one is in Henford on Bagley. And I don't know if I'm placing all of these builds in their correct lots. I'm just kind of guessing and um, going by like the size of the lots and the pictures in the gallery, but a lot of times, as builders, we forget to tell people where these lots were built and where they're meant to be. But that's okay, because I think I've, I've got it. <laughs> so this one's a treehouse. And I this isn't the original wallpaper that the creator put on, but I don't have the pack that they used. So I had to replace the wallpaper with a similar one. And um, you'll see that the inside is also... Uh, no wallpaper because I forgot to replace the one in there and I'm not sure what they used and what vibe they were going for So I didn't want to like make up my own thing But yeah, this is another like really cozy little build um, Nestled in the trees nice and shady and they've got like windows. Hold on. Let's try to find the um we'll go on the cinematic camera <laughs> They've got like these open air windows, so there's no like glass. You're just one with nature. And like, that's so cool. And they've got this made, I think for like an artistic sim, cause we've got the easel right here. And then inside we've got like these canvases. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry with the camera. We'll just get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, we've got like the canvases over here. And I love what they did with the the mantle. I think this is a mantle that they used for the the bed frame so they could place stuff above it. And that's such a cool idea. I never thought of that. That's so cool. Yeah. So very like lived in. I love the tree coming through the actual house. Mismatched chairs again. Love that. All this like perfectly placed clutter and everything is so like cozy and artsy. And I think that this um, lot is off-grid. So they've got like all the off-grid functional stuff like the shower and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a really cool like artsy off-grid sim home. 
yeah that's so cool like building a treehouse that's <laughs> so cool so the next one i'm gonna show you is on pebble burrow in oasis springs and this is built by simagine they're one of my absolute favorite builders i love watching their speed builds they're here on youtube if you want to give them a follow because they make the coziest cutest little tiny builds and i'm obsessed like this one here like look how adorable the landscaping is with like these like cactuses and sunflowers and everything going on and they've got this little sales table so your sim can be like a plant lover sim um selling i don't know flower arrangements or plants and stuff this is so cute they've got like a really cute patio with the brick i love this brick accent wall and this seems like an eco-friendly um build too with all these solar panels and like the wind turbine and stuff i love what they did with the pool here they added these reeds and these little like candles, like floating candles, and that just gives it so much life. I love this. Little garden, some gardening tools, and like the laundry stuff. This is so cute. And then inside, we've got like this really cute little tiny layout. You walk right into the kitchen, and we've got like the mandatory herbs hanging on the wall and these like plants on the windowsill i can never get this to work for me i never get them to fully snap in and actually sit on the windowsill like they're supposed to they're always like on the edge so yeah this is really cute props for doing that because i always just give up and then this bedroom is like the coziest bedroom i've ever seen in my life like let's get in here and take like a close look at it I love how this desk is below the bunk bed, or loft bed, I guess, and they've got like these little twinkle lights and like the flowers and stuff on the on the dresser is just so cute and they've got like a robe hanging behind the door and the plants, oh, it's such a vibe in here, I swear, I want to live here in real life. Then we've got the little bathroom and I like how they made like a sunken shower. Um, they sunk down like the platform for the shower. That's really cute. And of course we've got like pictures of flowers and plants in here. So yeah, this is like the perfect plant sim, <laughs> plant lover sim um, house. And I'm going to show you another house by this same creator. And it's like a tiny little glimmer brook house, little cottage with a attached greenhouse. And I'm obsessed with it. It's right here. It's Brooks Bridge Burrow in Glimmerbrook. Look at how cute this little house is. And the landscaping is on point. I can never get my landscaping like on point like this. I can't even use the terrain manipulation tool because I can I can never get stuff to like stick onto it and not look like it's just floating. So this is like amazing. This is such a great job. Like the little paths and the stairs built into the hills and stuff. They've got this little part of the pond here and then there's like a full pond in the back. Little sunflowers sprouting everywhere and decorations like scattered around. This is super cute. And they've got this, I love this bee um, window, like the stained glass window. And they actually have a beehive back here so this is like a really cute cozy little beekeeper sim um sort of like homesteader sim but like on a small scale and oh my god look at this layout this creator is so good at laying out tiny houses and just making them like the perfect size so like you walk in and there's the kitchen perfectly cluttered like some some mugs on top of the fridge tiny fridge all the cute little clutter on the on the shelves and stuff and the twinkle lights i love the twinkle lights and over here they've got like so much stuff like cluttering here and it's so perfectly put together and it makes it so much like cozier and nestier do you know what i mean and there's this little sleep nook for your sim to hang out near the open window and like read a book or whatever and the tiniest bathroom i've ever seen but it works and it's so cute this is such a good build. I'm obsessed with this. The glass, the honeycomb glass right here. This is so great. I absolutely love this builder. Definitely check them out and 
get some of their builds in your save file because they're amazing. The next build I'm going to show you is here in Copperdale. And this is a lake cabin. Um, I forgot the name of this lot, but it's that lot like over by the pier over here. This like little tiny lot right here. And this is like a vacation type of cabin. Like you'll, you'll see what I mean. And it's got like a really rustic like lodge type of vibe. Like a, almost like a log cabin, but not fully. So I love how they like cluttered this porch and they have it kind of unpacked yet kind of lived in so you can tell like this family like comes here and has all their stuff like in bins like all their supplies and stuff and i love the sink on the porch with the pipes going into the wall this is really cool yeah so this is like a very um like summer cabin summer lake house type of thing We've got like a bunk room over here with four bunk beds, suitcase, box, like everything's still kind of unpacked, kind of not. Very cozy living room and uh, dining area, little game chair over here, game table. Very cute. And I love this kitchen. I love how they have this kitchen with like these windows and it's so... It's like a nook, but it's like really open because of those windows and I love that. They've got like a bar right here. This is such a good idea too. I never thought of putting the bar like up against the wall that way. And that's so cool. And then I love what they did with the bathroom too. They have the bathroom split into two sections. So you, your sim comes in and there's like the vanity and the sink and everything. And then over here, they have the shower and the toilet um, like separated. I like lived in a house with a bathroom that was similar to this and I just think that's like a cool touch. I never see that really. And then we've got the master bedroom with the little retro TV, all their luggage and stuff. And I love how they have these French doors that go out to the back porch. This is very cute. This is another like really cool cozy little build. I bet this looks so cute in the winter time too, all covered in snow and stuff. It's adorable. The next build I'm going to show you is in the OG Willow Creek. It's on the Rindle Rose lot. And this one is by Ava Pops Gaming. I think I might have forgotten to say the, the name of the, um, the lake cabin builder. That was Rin X Sims, I believe. But yeah, I'll have everything like listed down below. So this one is by Ava Pops Gaming. And I just thought that this was like a really cozy neighborhood, almost like farmhouse, but not. It's like a little suburban. I think it's very cute. I love the color and I love the orange like popping against the blue. They've got like a little backyard with like their dog toys and stuff, a little grill. And this is just like a really cute and cozy like family home. Um, I don't know if it would be like a, no, it's 30,000, so it wouldn't be like a starter home per se, but like, you know, cheaper family home for your Sims. There's like a, like a teen's bedroom over here, and I love this bed. I love like the, the skulls with the little plants and stuff, and we've got the little makeup clutter. This is very cute. I love this mirror. And then over here, they've got like the little hallway with the tiny desk and computer, little bathroom and the master bedroom every this house is like in between like furnished and a little bit of a blank slate so you can like you know decorate it how you choose uh, but it's like turnkey and like ready to move in you know there's like the the dog food bowl and like the pet bed over here for a dog i love what they did with the kitchen like how they made this little nook right here and um use like these half walls like that's a really good idea i think that's really cute to create a separation yet keep it like open concept it's very nice i like that and then we've got a little half bath over here with a like what is that a washing machine okay so they've got like the washing machine and then they can hang their clothes out here to dry that's cute i like that a lot so yeah this is like a really cute little neighborhood home 
Um, over here, we're back on Henford on Bagley, and I think I forgot to place this next one, so I'm going to place it really quick. Okay, so here it is placed, and this one really lives up to its name. This is the Peaceful Family House, and this one is built by uh, Plant Sim Girl. A lot of you might be familiar with her YouTube channel. Um, she builds, like, really um, whimsical, like, cozy, woodsy homes, and I love her builds. So yeah, this one's got, like, really nice, like, sort of effortless-looking landscaping. Little wildflowers growing everywhere. Very old farmhouse type of vibe. We've got like the little laundry thing out here and the line so you can hang your clothes to dry. And they've got satellite internet. Like this is such a like grandma and grandpa's farmhouse that we inherited type of thing. Like they've got satellite internet. Internet probably doesn't even go here. Um. And yeah, everything's like very vintage and I don't know, maybe this could even be like grandma and grandpa's house that um, the grandkid visits once in a while and comes to stay here and they've got like the little seedlings growing on the desk in front of the window, little mason jar light thing. This is very cute and like very rustic and old school. <laughs> The bathroom with this like old farmhouse sink, the dresser in here. I like how in the kitchen they did mismatch like cabinets and counters and stuff. Like so the sink is just like kind of like freestanding in there. And the dresser's over here. That's very real, like very on par with like a lot of that old farmhouse style. Not everything was like a built-in kitchen. It was like sort of put together, you know? Um, that's very cute, like the wallpaper, this old picture, this thing. What is that even called? <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. It's like a sonograph or something. I don't know, record player. Is it a record player? Whatever. It's, it's cool. I love it. And then we've got the dining room over here. Oh, I didn't even realize this isn't even open to like the rest of the house. You actually have to like come out and access it. And that's kind of cool. I like that. All these like old knickknacks like everywhere. It's very cute, very charming. Very charming little bathroom, half bathroom. Yeah, this is like the perfect little peaceful grandma and grandpa's farmhouse type of thing. You know, you could you have a lot of space to like add animals or something. I would add probably like a chicken coop and like raise chickens and this is that farmhouse vibe that everybody wants. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video on the cozy builds because um, that's all I like really made a list of so far but I have, like I said, I made a list of community lots and um, I also have like rental lots that I want to showcase. So those will be separate videos. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found some cool little builds to add to your save file for all you cozy simmers out there. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye!